Hello and welcome into a groomer's take on this Friday evening. Well, the Masters is here, and in fact, the next two majors are going to be the Masters. November, April, boom, gotta love it. It makes me sad watching the Masters in November, though, because every time I watch the Masters, it's usually the start of the golf season, I'm all fired up. But now all I want to do is golf, but we can't even do that because this nice weather's coming to an end. I hope to get out there one more time before the season's over because golf is fun. Well, let's look at the leaderboard real quick. Abraham Unser, minus nine. Cameron Smith, Justin Thomas, Dustin Johnson. Plenty of really good players left to go out there. The course was playing a little wet yesterday and Thursday because of all the rain. Still playing a little bit slower today. But you can tell already that these greens are going to start confusing guys once it gets drier and drier. And I can't wait to see it. I don't want to see like a minus 20 win this thing. That wouldn't be too fun. But hey, it's golf and it's fun to watch. Tiger Woods minus four through 10 holes today in the second round. He doesn't really have that swag to me that he had yesterday. He looked very comfortable. He looked very in the zone. Today he looked kind of out of it. But let's hopefully he can finish this second round on, uh, on a hot note tomorrow morning. Get some rest, get those glutes rested, get the back going, you know, everything he has to do. Because, hey, I love watching Tiger, but I love watching a lot of players as well. Bryson DeChambeau, I'll admit it, I like watching him play. He's created this storyline, this character for himself, if you will, by being all jacked and wanting to hit the ball as far as he possibly can all the time, shortening this course. Well, it hasn't really worked out in this Masters. And actually, something else I want to hit on, I didn't realize he said that this is going to be a, a, a par 67 for him at Augusta. I mean, first of all, who says that? Second of all, you've never won a Masters. And third of all, well, hey, you're plus one right now through 12 in your second round. Now you're chopping it all over the place. But I do want to get into that just a little bit because his round started very poorly in the third hole. I think he hit three wood. It's a drivable par four, but he can do it with three wood. He ended up being short left or something like that. And it wasn't too far into the rough, but they couldn't find his ball. Yes, if there was fans there and marshals everywhere, you'd be able to notice it right away. But the way he hits it, I'm assuming this thing just plugged right into the ground. I mean, hey, we've all golfed and fall before. Your ball just disappears. Middle of the fairway, you see it land and you get up there and it's gone. But hey, even in the majors, you can't find it. I'm pretty surprised that no one knew where it was. That's why I think it was plugged into the ground. He was kind of like, really? This is a lost ball now? I have to go all the way back? Well, yeah, that's the rules. And apparently the new rules is you look for your ball for five minutes and now it's down to three minutes? That was a quick three minutes. I was watching it. That was a pretty quick three minutes. And I said to a, a group chat of mine, you know, if that was Tiger Woods' ball, I'm pretty sure someone would have found it um, before he had to go back to the tee. I don't know, a little hit or miss there, but hey, he's got it back to plus one because he was as far down as plus two and he's got some holes to go. Let's see, because I want to watch him. I want to watch him on Saturday and Sunday. He is a pull for golf. You got to like that. Let's look at the Canadian contention right now. Corey Connors, huge day today, shooting minus five so far. He's through 16. We'll see how he can do on 17 and 18. He's going to, he's right on the, uh, or he's above the cut line, sorry, at minus three. Nick Taylor, right on the cut line at even, 72-72. Mike Weirsey, plus one through nine. He shot minus one or minus two yesterday. We'll see how it goes. But, eh, you know, Mike Weir. Adam had one plus two through 13. He's got some work to do to make the cut, but hey, I love watching Canadian golfers. Good for these guys to be in there. Uh, Rory McIlroy really turned it on today. There's a lot of golfers still in it. This is crazy. It's going to be a fun day. I'm going to be on the couch as much as I can, or at least if I go out, I'm going to find a TV to watch it on. The Masters is here. It's a lot of fun. That's all I got to say about that right now. There's been some NBA trade demands, question mark, question mark, question mark, in the last few days. Victor Oladipo today said, I'm absolutely denying the rumors that I want out of the Indiana Pacers. I'd be really surprised by that too. I mean, Oladipo is the guy there. He's had an injury riddled uh, couple seasons here, but he's a very good player. And he doesn't come off as a guy that, you know, that would be that guy to say, I want out. So I believe him when he says, I'm denying this all the way. What I do absolutely believe is that Westbrook and Harden possibly want out of Houston. Their buddies, their pals going back to OKC. They're both phenomenal players, but you, I don't think you can win with those two guys. They're, they're too much of 
wanting the ball. And then Houston, we know, doesn't go big, man. But hey, I don't care about that right now. Harden, go wherever. Westbrook, this is where I want you to end up. Westbrook's personality, his character, his, his stardom belongs in New York. Let's get Westbrook to the Knicks. That would be exciting. That would be fun to watch because I'm tired of talking and hearing about the Knicks and just how miserable they've been for the last decade. Let's get Westbrook there and see what happens. That would be very cool. DeRozan to the Lakers? See, this is where I like to pat on the back for myself. Not because it was just he's going to the Lakers, but I've always said that he's not a number one or two guy. And if he goes to the Lakers, he is not going to be a one or two guy because there's a guy named LeBron James and a guy named Anthony Davis. That's it. So if DeRozan goes there, it's huge. It would be really sweet for them. And uh, it would make the Lakers better. It would be very interesting to see. But, you know, that's all i got to say about that. All right, it's Friday night. i got a long day of watching golf tomorrow and doing some other stuff. Let's do a quick rundown. Kim Ang, first female general manager in the MLB. She's going to be the GM of the Miami Marlins. Hey, great team to pick up. Young team. Made the playoffs this year. Look good. Congratulations to her. Liverpool's EPL, Liverpool's Mo Salah. Test positive for COVID-19. Hands down their best striker, their best player, their goal scorer. Hopefully it doesn't spread to anybody else on the team. But... They could get away with it, with not seeing him for a couple weeks. But hey, get well soon, Mo Salah. Big Ben Roethlisberger will play this week against the Cincinnati Bengals. He was taken off the COVID DL list or whatever, the precautionary list, because someone else from the team got it. And then, you know, the whole protocols they're doing. Thank goodness he's playing, because that reindeer kid, Rudolph, not happening. I don't want to watch him play. It's like taking me all the way back to the Tommy Maddox nightmare. That was before Big Ben. Woo! Thanks for coming back. All right, that's it. That's all I got. Enjoy your weekends. Enjoy the Masters. We'll talk soon. Bye-bye.